hello everyone my name is joe and in today's tutorial i'm going to be showing you how i created this icon set in blender 3d these icon sets are available on my gum road they are completely free 100 percent free to use for commercial and personal projects so since i already had an idea of what i wanted this to look like i went on to looking for inspirations and gathering images that i felt like look close to what i was trying to achieve in this tutorial so for this, I just started with basic material development. Um, I had a black um, matte material here with a nice texture into the normal just to give it a little bit of character. Then this is a galvanized metal look. Then I also added a little bit of accent with um, a gold colored material. Then I added um, a glossy black material also, just so I had varieties to play with. And then I did the material development first just so I have a little bit of consistency across the icons but then across the way i started to make some changes to the material though on the fly depending on the icon so for this i just started with um the primitive cube shape then i started developing this this model i i wanted to make it a little bit detailed but not so detailed to where it's no longer looking like um an i3d icon anymore So here I'm adding more bevels and um, curves just so that whenever it is I start lighting all these edges are going to be um, catching a little bit of reflections from the lights. So I moved on to materials and um, since I already have those developed from the beginning already I just just um, a matter of plug and play. So I went on to lighting, first I made all the environment dark, then I added like an overall light just to get a feel for what the darks are going to look like. Then I started creating some highlights on places that I wanted to show a little bit of reflection. By the way, the add-on I'm using for this lighting is called Light Studio. A very very good add-on for lighting in Blender. So I added like a screen light just so I could show a little bit of highlight in the in that space there where you're going to enter your information and insert your card but then it wasn't enough light so i added extra lighting to highlight some parts and also added an extra light also just to show that that place is illuminated then for this icon it's still the same atm icon but i started adding some coins and um some financial elements around it just to give another option on the set so after i created the coin i just went on to create it creating the naira sign so i went on to positioning these icons in such a way that it looks natural and it doesn't kind of look out of place this this part is really important just so that all of this um, work doesn't doesn't look weird, doesn't look weird. So I spent some time with the placement of the coins. So the next element I'm going to be modeling for today's tutorial is this stack of money. So the stack of money is just a basic um, plane. I added a little bit of solidify modifier to it, and then added some bevels around it. Then with an array modifier, I just stack it up. So what I'm doing here already is just um, lighting this icon and um, positioning it for the camera. By the way guys, the plane under is just a shadow catcher. Um, it's not um, adding anything to the final scene. It's just um, to, to make sure that in the final icon image, there's a shadow that the end users can, can um, take advantage of in building the scene. So 
so the next one we're going to be working on is um the bag of money for the bag of money i found it really really interesting so what i did was just an a, a circle shape um created a space on top of it extruded then i started to make some irregularities in the in the bag of money but the irregularities wasn't still um enough so i did something interesting i i kind of selected created a vertex group for that and I used that information in a displace modifier to actually deform the part that I wanted a bit more so this added a little bit of organic feel to this bag For this um i i went into a little bit more detail more than i should actually for a 3d icon as a matter of fact i even went on to adding shred to this icon which i felt like was an overkill on a 3d icon yeah so that's it that's the trading system but it still didn't give the result i wanted but i just used it anyways so for the next time, I'm doing like um, a calendar. I am already had the base set up already, added a little bit of edge look. And then I'm adding like um, the support for the calendar up there. Yeah, so this this is like a blackboard. I'm just um trying to show some some financial graphs and um, information on the board. Um, I already already had like an inspiration to the side. If you look at the bottom left of the screen, you see what I'm working with. So I just needed to add a little bit of x and y axis, and then some some graph showing showing some values. So those are just cover modifiers that I'm adding a subdivision surface to so that it will be smooth. So I wanted to make um, a fiscal outlet like a bank. So I started with the roof, the base, started with the um, foundation and support. I was just taking different elements from um, different icons just to make my workflow faster. So that's it guys. So long and until I see you in the next one. Peace.